Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got something pretty cool to show you. It is the blood altar. Basically what it does, once you've built it, it will give you powers. When you die, those powers will go away. And it's pretty expensive, so when you die, you can just come and use it again. Here's all the things that you'll need, all the things on the top row. This is what you'll need. Little rows of stuff I'm going to use to stack stuff. And this is just the tools. So I am just going to build this. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. To activate it, all you want to do is stand on the emerald block. So as you can see, I've got nothing. Stand on the emerald block, I've got powers. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, this is basically all there is to it. All it is, is that there is a blood altar here. So you basically you can design your own. And then there's just a full clock here. can be a set block clock if you want. And what this one is doing is it's executing all players at their location and it's detecting one block under them for an emerald block. And then if it does um, find that error block, then it'll do a test for blocks from 743456 to negative 147448, which is um, from the bottom of the structure to the top of the structure to um, put it into a box. And it will go negative 4 in the x direction, negative 2 down and negative 4 in the z direction from the player so that would be that way so if I'm standing on the emerald block we'll test um, test full blocks from here and we'll test when I'm on another blood altar if this part here is the same as the part at the top if it's true it will activate five commands and basically all these commands do is give you all the effects that a beacon would give you so here's just one command will affect all players with eight which is jump boost forever which is a million seconds um, two so two blocks you'll jump two blocks up and true just to hide the bubbles